Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today is going to be the second video of what I wish I knew when I first started tanking series. Really what this video is going to feature is tank packages, gun types, and ammunition. Like my first video, I'm going to have rules to simplify the video, and those that want more details, they're encouraged to stick around to learn more about them. Rule number one, only buy a maximum of five premium rounds on each tank when you're first starting out. <clears throat> Tiers three and above. You need at least five premium rounds, but until you really understand weak points, you shouldn't spend the extra silver to try to gain damage. Rule number two, unlock all your packages before you go to the next tank. You'll feel like you want to rush through because there's a shortcut, but the tanks are much easier and more enjoyable to play when they're fully loaded. Rule number three, when you have a tank with multiple gun options, stick with the gun with the best penetration. You'll generally lean towards the higher damage gun when you start, but that is usually the worst gun. Rule number four, if you like a tank, are comfortable in a tank, or feel you achieve high XP or have a good win rate, then keep that tank. A, it will help you keep your sanity while you're in some tough grinds, and B, you probably are earning decent amounts of silver and XP consistently, which will help your overall progress in the game. These are the main rules for this video, and if that's all you're interested in, that's fine. I'll see you in the next video. If you want to stick around for more detailed version of the, these rules, then sit back, relax, let's begin. First of all, let's talk about ammunition. AP rounds, or armor piercing rounds, are generally the standard ammunition, and you can see the average penetration and damage when you select the supplies button on any tank in your garage. You can see on my A20, the armor piercing round does 41 to 69 damage and the penetration is 56 to 94. And that's because there's an average on the rolls that it can get. Uh, second is APCR rounds. And these rounds are premium ammunition and they cost much more than your standard ammunition. APCRs generally have higher penetration and velocity, which is how fast the round travels to your target and determines how much lead you need to give your target if it's moving. APCR rounds, however, lose penetration over distance, so at long range, these are good for softer, quick targets. Next is HE rounds, or high explosive rounds. They generally have lousy penetration and velocity, but higher damage. Don't be fooled by the high damage, because that's truly only effective if you penetrate your target. Utilize these rounds on targets with little to no armor or rear armor. Another effective use of this round is to reset capping opponents. Uh, you don't have to pen to do damage with these, you just need to hit your target. And to reset a cap, you just need to do a little bit of damage or break a track and that's what these rounds are good for. The next rounds you generally see on British tanks so I grab my Centurion Action 10. Rather than going to supplies you can also hit Y which will bring up details for this tank. If you hit RB and go to modules and then go over to ammunition this is where you can find out the shell velocity too, so that's nice to use this feature. And we're going to talk about the hash rounds first, which is the third one down. And hash rounds are higher penetration HE rounds. They can be used more aggressively than HE rounds, but still can't match the penetration of standard or premium rounds. For example, these hash rounds have 79 to 131 penetration, where other tier 10 medium tanks have HE rounds and only have 40 to 66 penetration. So you can use them more aggressively with scouts um, and maybe some softer medium tanks, and you're going to get more damage um, than your standard ammunition. Uh, then the second round on this is a heat shell. Heat rounds are high penetrating rounds that lack velocity but don't lose penetration over distance. Utilize these rounds for highly armored targets and or long range shots. 
be careful because if you hit an obstacle, like a wall, fence, etc., along the way, they will not do any damage to the enemy tank. Unlike your AP round or APCR round can get through uh, a fence and still do damage. All right, so that sums up ammunition. Um, there's a really good video that Wargaming made about armor and penetration. I highly recommend you guys check that out if you have more questions. It goes in a little bit more detail on how that works. So we're going to jump into unlocking all the packages. It's important. Um, and when I first started tanking, the Deering and I uh, wanted to get through the tech trees as fast as possible. So I'm going to bring up the KV-3 here. And I played more often than him. So I generally was outpacing him just like by one level. And when I was playing my Tiger 1, he started playing his KV-3. And then I got my Tiger 2 before he was done with this. So he chose to skip all these packages and pretty much play it with this first package all the way until he got enough XP to get the KV-4. He ended up probably taking longer on the tank, along with the pain of not having the upgraded tank against potential tier 9s. When you're a tier 7 heavy tank, you play tier 9 tanks. That's just the way matchmaking works. When I finally went down this line, which is a little ways off, uh, I was a bit more knowledgeable and have had gained experience since we started our first tier 7 heavy tanks. And I realized that packages were important and unlocking everything. Um, I unlocked all the way up to this gun. I really enjoyed this tank and I ended up keeping it. So let's just compare these. You can see along the bottom there the packages. So this 107 millimeter honestly isn't too bad of a gun with 167 pen 300 damage. But the things he misses out on is you can get up to a level 8 engine on this. And the big gun on here has 175 pen with 90 more damage. So I think the biggest thing is he missed out on the motor, which in a heavy tank is pretty miserable to um, be that slow. Moving on. So when I talk about multiple guns, um, the A20 is a great example of this when you go to the packages. First of all, bouncing shells can be one of the most frustrating parts of this game. Along with not being able to hit the weak points, bouncing shells and missing, missing shots equals lower effective DPM or damage per minute, which is a measurement of gun strength. Chasing high damage alpha guns are generally the new player's desire. It was mine. When I first started, I always looked to see what was the highest damage gun that I could have. Um, but don't fall for it. They're more often than not lower penetration and work worse accuracy. So we're going to start off with this 37 millimeter that the A20 can have. So you get 60 rounds a minute, which to some people might sound fantastic but you only have 46 pen and you only do 40 damage so chances are you're not going to be penning a lot of these shells especially at tier 6 when you play up to tier 6 then the next gun is a 45 millimeter now this one does 26 rounds a minute which obviously isn't as great as 60 but the pen is much better at 75 and it only does 55 damage so there's only a little bit increase there and then we get to the 76 millimeter so as a new player when I looked at this I seen 110 damage 68 pen didn't really care about rate of fire which is important this thing can only put out 10 rounds a minute and its accuracy is 0.51 which is horrendous for a scout tank. The chances of you hitting that 
um, is going to be pretty bad. So this gun can get out two and a half shells for every time the big gun shoots once. And it does 55 damage. So you're potentially getting 110 damage out if you pen your target twice in that time. And the accuracy is 0.37. So once again, when you're looking at gun packages, if they have multiple guns, um, make sure you pay attention to the penetration, not the damage. Finally, the only other thing that would offset this rule is if it's a well-known successful derp gun like the KV-2 or a higher DPM gun with penetration that isn't a significant drop-off. Um, that's really all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.